Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us. Well, we've got quite a lot to talk about and an unusual setup to begin with, something that Homer Simpson would absolutely love. We have got a high pressure donut going on in New Zealand right now. It's an unusual setup. High pressure, you can see in yellow, all the way around the New Zealand area, even covering the islands to some degree. But just out to the west, we've got a low sitting in the middle of it all. So it's an unusual setup. Uh, this low is not going to get any bigger, but it is going to bring in some moisture and combined with afternoon heating, we're expecting a lot of downpours and isolated thunderstorms in both islands inland over the next couple of days. And they could be quite widespread at times uh, as we get that afternoon heating getting going. And by the way, also up into the northwest corner around Australia, Cyclone Owen is back. And it's likely to reach category three status and the remnants could be quite interesting. It's likely to track down the Australian coastline, not fall apart, and the remnants might eventually come towards New Zealand. But don't worry, not as a storm at this stage, just a little bit of West Coast rain. This is how it looks at the moment. So you can see that small area of low pressure for Thursday, but look what it does. It produces these afternoon downpours. Now they are mainly inland. If you really take a close look at it, a lot of the coastal areas around Taranaki, uh, even around Wellington, Christchurch, Dunedin, a lot of those areas are sort of outside the thunderstorm risk or the downpour risk. Same in, in Auckland and Tauranga and Napier. Now in saying that, once these downpours have developed, they might drift, and that's where they could drift into any one of those populated centres. Just depends on which sea breeze dominates. Down in the South Island, you've got more of a nor'easter, so these ones are likely to be pushed into the mountains and eastern areas, maybe a little bit of drizzle, but otherwise dry. Look at Friday. You could almost remove the map of New Zealand, and the rain clouds that are going to develop into the afternoon match the coastline. So that's a good indicator we're seeing afternoon downpours developing. So they are anywhere inland across the whole country, but they are less or least likely in Northland and Southland. Southlanders will love that. Northland, you might get a little bit of it just in the uh, central southern parts down towards Auckland. Auckland, your borderline, um, you might get it, depends on where they form and where they drift, but certainly central parts of New Zealand and inland parts of the South Island have a high risk of downpours on Friday, Friday afternoon that is. Saturday afternoon looks like this. Now, by the way, a lot of the mornings are cloudy, dry, calm, there might be a little bit of drizzle around, but then in the afternoons we see these cloud buildups and again downpours developing here and there in land. Not everyone is going to get solid rain, the maps are sort of just indicating at one point in the afternoon they bubble up and the risk zone says it's sort of anywhere inland, but usually what we see is lots of showers bubbling up here and there and there are gaps in between them. And the further south you go, the drier it is on Saturday. Sunday gets even drier. These showers are just uh, into the mid-afternoon for a time, looks mostly around Waikato and just sort of northern parts of Central Plateau. In the South Island, a couple of isolated showers bubble up on Sunday, otherwise fairly dry and calm. And then we get to next week and it is interesting next week. On Monday, look at this, mostly dry around New Zealand. For the first time in days, we're not really seeing many of those downpours. Maybe a couple might bubble up. We're actually seeing a warmer airflow, but more importantly, this storm up here, that is Cyclone Owen. So right now, it's way off in the northwest. It is going to slide down the coastline. That's unusual. It doesn't often happen like that in Australia. So they could be getting a lot of rain between where the low is there on Monday and where it is right now up to the north. Now afterwards, we think this will fall apart around the eastern side of Aussie, and then eventually the leftovers might come down and hit, you know, Fiordland or the west coast. Now that's just a guess at this stage based on a number of computer models. We will keep a close eye on it. And one more thing before I go, everyone's asking about Christmas Day. Yesterday I said, I think we might be seeing westerlies. I still feel like that is the, the uh, setup. We might also be seeing a, a ridge of high pressure moving in from northern areas, might calm things down a bit in the north of New Zealand, but we do think westerlies might be around for Christmas Day, but still too early to lock in, just really sharing with you what we're seeing in the long range models that we trust the most. That's all from me. We'll see you again tomorrow with the latest on Cyclone Owen and the outlook with these downpours around New Zealand.